So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a euphoric deep house drop like artist as Fred again did in these songs, including these elements. So we're gonna start off with the drums. We'll be using these samples. I just made this simple drum loop with it. Now it's time to add some more groove to it. First I want to add a closed head to it. So we'll be using this closed head. By the way, all the drum sounds are coming from the new chemicals pack. It's linked down below as well. All the presets we'll be using are coming from the pack as well. So make sure to check it out. So for the closed head, we're going to place it right here and here. Quantize it to get it slightly off the grid. As you can see, something like this. So now we're going to add a snare sound to it. Place it right here. Again, steady off the grid. Just like this. So then to finish off the drums, I just added two other drum loops to fill up the background of the drums with this loop. And this one. And I also added this perk step as well. So all together the drums sound like this. So now we're gonna dive into that typical vocal lead style with a stutter vocals. First I got his vocal from Splice. Just a basic vocal. Then I pitched it up six, seven, seven tones. We really gotta pitch a vibe of the vocal. And then we're gonna granulate the sound. So I added this grain strain. It's a free plugin with a 116 rate and a little bit of fade out. Giving this effect on the vocal. So now we need to resample the vocal. So I just quickly kind of render it out and drop it back into FL Studio. So I resampled the vocal and dropped it back in FL Studio, giving this effect. So then we need to cut out parts. I already cut out all the parts because, because the progress is really trial and error. So you just need to find bits that fit well together. So first I cut out this, this part. And this one. Then I cut out this part. Then repeat it. And then to finish it off, I wanna add on this. I wanna end on this part. So altogether the melody sounds like this. Which isn't there yet, but now we're gonna fix it in a mix down. So now we're gonna dive into the bass line. I got this in a serum loaded up. So first pick a preset from the pack. So we'll be using this sound. So now we're gonna dive into MIDI. The songwriting is actually fairly simple, but it really, really does the job. So we are working in A minor, but we're gonna start off on the fifth note of the scale. So we're gonna start off on an F. Then go down to the root. Duplicate it. And then go up to the third note of the scale. It's a variation. Just like this. So now we're gonna mix it. Together with the other elements, the bass sounds like this. So now we're gonna dive into the other synth elements. First, I wanna add a bass step to it. We'll be using this scream style bass line. Mixing wise, I only added an EQ to get rid of the low end and a side chain. So now we're gonna dive into MIDI. Just following the bass notes. 
Just like this. But then we're gonna switch the F to an octave lower. Sounding like this. So now we're gonna dive in the chords. Again, just load up another preset from the pack. We'll be using this sound, so first copy over the bass melody and turn it into one bar notes. Sounding like this. Then we're gonna turn it into chords. So we are working in A minor, so the first gonna work on the A minor chord. We'll be using seventh chords, so it'll be a A, C, E, and G. Sounding like this. Then we need to tweak the F minor chord. So just bump them all up one semitone. All together, sounding like this. So now we're gonna mix it. almost got all elements ready now i only want to add one lead melody sound so first gonna pick a preset from the pack we'll be using this one it's quite an unstable preset with the lfo rather to the fine tune of both oscillators first gonna work on the midi we'll be using the top notes of the chords we just made so first gonna start off on the e make it a sustained note then down to the top note of the a of of the A seventh chord, so that will be a G. Back up to the E. Down to the G. And back up to the B. Also, we're gonna add a sliding note to transition from the G to the E. All together, sounding like this. Which sounds quite weird right now, but we're gonna mix it. So, first I added a low cut. Then a pan man to create an auto pan from left to right. To create some more movement in the track. Auto T compression. Stereo imaging. Reverb. Delay. Of course, a sidechain. It's a really nice thing to have in the back end on top of your chords. So besides that, to fit it up even more, I, I added this ambient sound to it. So that's it for all the elements of the Fred Against All house drop. I think it turned out really dope, so let me know what you think about it in the comments as well. We're gonna listen to the Fred Against right now. Besides that, if you like the video, drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next videos.